Hello, my dears, and good evening once again. For evening it is while I'm recording this particular session of Let's Play Castlevania Symphony of the Night. And I, I'm just going to do that because I like it and I think it looks great. I mean, Alucard looks pretty great anyway, but he looks even better when he does shit like that. Uh, yes, welcome back to when Konami was actually a game company, which they aren't anymore. Yeah, when last we left off, we found this weirdy, beardy little place with the uh, the occult elevator and the candles that lit spontaneously as we rose through it. It's a bit creepy as it goes, and the music is wonderful. I don't quite... Oh. Well, I was going to say we don't quite know where we are, but that would be a lie, wouldn't it? We know exactly where we are. This is where the game began, when we were playing as Richter Belmont, who we now know has gone a bit, um, well, strange in the heed. Let's go and have a look up here, shall we? Maybe there's something interesting this way. Um, I do know that I don't want to actually face Richter yet, if I can help it. Falchion, let's have a look. Is it any good? Is it it's going to be as fun as the Holy Rod? I don't think so. No, it's not. So, um, yeah, not interested in that, really. But I am very interested in what's going on out here. And specifically, what's going on down here? Ow! Ow! Utter swine bags. It's very pretty, isn't it, out here? I imagine quite nice after being in the stuffy castle and its catacombs as well. If uh, Alucard appreciates that sort of thing, of course. I don't think he probably does, but... Uh... Oh, we've been here before, haven't we? Yes, I know where we are. Hmm, interesting. So is there something that we missed here, or something that we can... Hmm... How very fascinating. Die, 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 and boil your own head. Or something. My god, the backgrounds are very distracting in this game. That's where all the processing power is going, ladies and gents, in the backgrounds. Hmm. I am, I'm phenomenally curious now. I don't quite know where we're going. Or what's happening. I'm just very, 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 very confused. <clears throat> I do know that the fight with uh, Richter is just up there. And I don't want to do it. So that's right. Right. I see how it works. I see. So that will allow us to drop down here. Hmm. How very curious. And where does this lead? Oh, to this rather interesting corridor. Okay. There's quite a lot that we don't have yet. Quite a lot. We need to get the form of bat, for one thing. We need to learn how the mist form works properly, because it's not working properly yet. Hmm. Okay. Yes. Hmm. Oh, so we're back here. Let's go and have a look around. There may be something that will point the way... Maybe. I haven't been up there yet, either. That's curious. Very curious indeed. I've still got this wonderful weapon as well, haven't I? Ah! Ah. Ow. That was loads of fun. It's so nice to know that we can kill them so easily now. When there were such problems before. I've got to say, the rapid-fire element of that weapon is, um, yeah, it's pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing. Let's have a look, shall we? So we've got all those areas up there that we need to go. Huge area there that we haven't been, and a fairly significant area underneath the castle as well. Hmm. And this is far from being the full map, by the way. I'm going to go have a look over there, that corridor that we haven't explored properly yet. <clears throat> oh, this is far from being the entire game. 
far from it. You get your money's worth with this one. You really do. Let me just double check where we're going. So we want to go through there and up the way. Okay. So we're heading left here. No, I don't want the watch. I am having far too much fun with this lovely, lovely thing. Another CD corridor. Okay, so we're in the Colosseum. That's good. That's where we want to be. I think. I hope. And we want to go this way. <laughs> and up, I believe. Yes. Ah, so. No, we don't want that. We want the mist form. How do we activate the damn mist form? Relics. Form of mist. On. System. Button settings. Right hand. Mist. L and R. Oh, that's how you do it. Alright. Like that. That's cool. I suppose. Is it useful at all? Does it allow us to do anything? No. Not really. That's a bit shit, really. To be honest. There's a couple of areas, though, that we haven't been yet. Hmm. I'm gonna go up first. Oh, yes. This is where we first found, uh... Herr Richter. Or Herr Belmont, I suppose. God, that drains our magic. Like, you, you wouldn't believe. Yeah! Okay. Let's have a look. Yes, let's head up. There's a corridor up there that we have not explored yet. And in fact, we may not even have the means to explore it yet, because there are quite a few sealed doorways in this castle. Ah! Oh, go away! Ow! Not master of these blades! Ah! Yes, I would like to live somewhere like this eventually. Some sort of atemporal situation. Yeah, I'm into that. Oh, wow, that's kind of a cool attack. I like the idea of uh, a place that's architecturally unlikely. Oh. So you've, got me, you've come the wrong way, I think. Hang on. Ah! Whoop. Oh, that is definitely the way to deal with those guys. Indeed. Okay, so there should be technically a way through somewhere here. Not here. Down and this way. Oh, right, yes, okay. Fine. So we need to go this way and up. I believe. It's such a confusing space. Ah, I love this weapon. Uh, I think I'll keep this, actually. I really rather like this one. Yes. Another CD corridor. Oh! Hmm... Intriguing. So we want to go up, and then we want to head back through. Ah, this is not going to let us through, is it? Shit. Or is it? Maybe it will. One of my favourite tracks in the game. Love the music in the chapel. Are you actually going to sit down? Oh! Oh, that's weird. Ow! Is that going to happen every time? That's really strange. I rather like that as a little set piece. Did we do it wrong? Oh! How very interesting. I wonder who that is. Could that be Alucard's mother, do you think? Who was a mortal woman, by the way. He's sort of like um, a hybrid of human and a vampire. Can we talk to her? How very strange. Hmm. I like that. Obviously there's a secret there that we need to uh, explore at some point. 
Aha! Whoa! Bloody hell. <sighs> There's a huge space over there that we haven't explored, that we really, really, really need to. So, let's have a look up here first. Whoa! Bloody hell. It says boomerang skeletons can actually be rather uh, tricky to handle. <sighs> yes. So there's obviously a secret way somewhere that comes from the other side. Intriguing. Oh, yes. The tower with the crows, I believe, and the, the sort of skeletal warriors. Those things. Ow! Now... Ow! The smaller enemies are by far the more annoying in this game. By far. It's because they can catch you so unawares. My god. Loads of hit points. Loads of hit points on those things. Oh, hello. Yes. Now... I don't think the wolf is the way to do this. I think this requires the bat. Or it could be pass as the mist. We may be able to pass as the mist through this. Nope. <laughs> nope. That definitely isn't going to work. Nope. We need the bat to get through there. So I need to find the form of bat. Wherever that happens to be. Get off! Bloody hell. Knock back. So frustrating. Hmm. <clears throat> I've been up here. I believe we've been up here anyway. Yes. We've definitely been up here. Okay. So yes, there's this area. Yes, yeah, so you're going to have to forgive this, ladies and gents. A lot of this game, and I mean a significant part, is uh, exploring and retreading old ground to see if something has opened up or if you have an item that you can use to open it up now. Ding dong. Hmm. I like the fact that the different ranks of skeletons have different coloured caps on. That's kind of amusing. Beautiful, beautiful area. This is where we fought the Hippogriff. Yet another creature of ancient mythology that was probably the last of its kind that Alucard has exterminated. He is to mythological creatures what um, Lara Croft is to... Um, Endangered species like wolves and whatnot. <clears throat> Lovely. I mean, not only is it the exploration part of the game, but the it actually helps you to grind a little bit, which is a little bit necessary in this game. We have been up here. Yeah, we've been up here. There's no like secret way through or anything like that. No. I mean, we've nearly actually almost covered this particular map. Um, I say this particular map because it's not the only one. Spoilers for this game from, when is it, 1999? Maybe even 1998? It's not the only map. Not by far. Ah, so we're back where we need to be. That's good to know. Hmm. 
No, 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 no. I don't want to swap the axe for that. No, 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 no. This is a fabulous weapon. Oh. Thank you very much. Okay, we're back more or less where we want to be. Hmm. However, how do we get back up? I cannot for the life of me remember, you know. Boogie. And where does... That doesn't lead anywhere, so we can't get through there. Um... Mm. I think we'll have to go the long way around, you know? Yeah, I don't see any other way other than climbing up. Mm. Yeah, that's very, very peculiar. Yeah, the only way I can foresee of doing it, actually, is by going through the clock tower again, which is really rather irritating. There's nowhere else we can go, really, is there? Not that I can see. Hmm. Although, we can go a slightly quicker way than this. Is that the right one? No, it bloody isn't. Although there is a door up there that we can go and have a look at. Hmm. I wonder. And most of the other areas that we haven't explored are either too high to get to or they are submerged. Which means that Alucard can't go in them because he's a vampire. Or partially, anyway. It's part of the irony of being a vampire. There's, there's, there are very, very cool elements. Oh, it's raining. That's a, a lovely thing about this um, about this particular area. The weather does change quite often, actually. Oh, there's a, there's a room down here we haven't been into, actually. Let's go and have a look. Yeah, let's take the elevator down. Why not? Hey! That's actually a lot of fun for an elevator. As one would expect from an elevator in Dracula's castle, you would at least hope it to be fun, wouldn't you? Hmm. Oh! Did we not come down here before or did I just miss that? I probably just missed it because I'm a bit shit. Hello? Garnet? Hmm. Interesting. Let's go down here first because I want to have a look at what's in that room there. It's this room down here. Oh, that's why we didn't come in here. Oh, wow. That was dramatic, wasn't it? Bloody hell. Okay. Thought so. Surely that's not it. How very peculiar. I don't trust that in a million years. There's something about this room. Definitely. We'll have to come back here, I think. Hmm. No, I don't trust that at all. Ah. Hello. We can get through here now. <clears throat> if the Medusa heads will allow me. There we go. What have we got? Miracurus and Jeweled Knuckles. Let's see what those do, shall we? They're probably not all that, but let's have a look. Uh, I like the healing mail a lot. Polished to resist stoning. Okay, I could make a Monty Python joke though. I'm not going to. Um, and the Holy Knuckles, I'd assume, is a weapon. Oh wow, that's that's really strong, actually. It doesn't really matter because I'm not going to be using it anyway. Ma. 
Anything to smash? No? Good. Yeah, I don't trust that room upstairs for a minute. Oh, no, thank you. Oh, yes, there's that weird little observatory down here, isn't there? Very, very odd area indeed. Very strange. Anything we can do? Like an a la carte sit? Is a ghost going to turn up? No? No, this is just a hanging room where you can sit and observe the, uh, the realm below. Oh! Is it the bird there? What's what's going on there? What about this? Can we use this? We can! What's... What's this all about? What did... What was that all about? How very, very odd. I, I like it, though. It lends an air of mystery to proceedings. It's one of the little touches that really does help this game enormously. So, let us head back up and see if... Uh... Oh, can we head back up? Oh, yes, we've got to go this way. I do love that healing mail. It can sometimes be the difference between life and death, you know. I seem to recall in my original playthrough of this game, way, way back when, that was the one I used the most, actually. Um, I used the healing mail all the time. Yes, yeah, so were I in Alucard shoes, my uh, my intentions for invading the castle would not be to destroy it. Let's put it that way. It would be to take it over and make it my own. As it kind of does in the Netflix series. Spoilers, by the way. Hmm. Oh, interesting. There's a very large area up there that we haven't been, actually. Very large. Ooh, let's go and have a look and see if we can reach it now. We may be able to. It's always worth checking these things, ladies and gents. Always worth checking them, because there may be something vital up there. Or a secret. And there are lots of secrets in this game. Believe you me, there are loads. Depending on how we fight Richter later, there's an entire section of the game that we could we could actually miss, which we don't want to do. We want to play through the whole goddamn thing. Yeah, so we want to go up now. Oh, uh, ectoplasm. They scream most satisfactorily, I have to say. And they're coloured like bubblegum, which I like. Bubblegum ghosts. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's just churlish, really, isn't it, Alucard? You're actually vandalising your dad's library now. <clears throat> and okay, they're possessed books, but um, even so, they are still books. Right, so this just goes through to the uh, the main library. We don't want that. We want to find a way to get over to that section. Ooh, we're getting some, uh, some rather nice criticals now. I don't think we can do it from here, though, unfortunately. No, not from this side, anyway. You see, there's a section over there we haven't explored yet. I need to go and see what's going on over there. Aha! And I... No, I can't reach it yet. I need the form of bat to get up there. 
Shit. Or do I? Yes, I do. I can get up here. But not up there. God damn it. Oh, there's a door. There's a door down here I haven't explored. Hmm. Yes, just in case I die. I don't want to have to do all this again. That would be very boring for everyone concerned. Thank you. Aha. What happened there? Oh, that's fun. Oh my, I do love the Holy Rod. There is a joke somewhere in there. I'm just, uh, I I'm not going to say I'm above it, I'm just too lazy to make it. My god, they, they hit hard. Dee -dee -dee. I like the, the, the fairly sanguine music in the library, I've got to say. It's, uh, it's very restful. Quite frankly, I'd want the castle for this library alone. Look at the background. It's fantastic, isn't it? As I've said a million times before, ladies and gents, I've got such a thing for architecture in video games. Such a thing. It's unbelievable. There we go. What's that? <gasps> Yay! Soul of Bat! Woo! Is it activated? Of course it's activated. Relics. Soul of Bat. Soul of Wolf. Soul of Bat! Yay! So how do we activate it? That's not it. Like that! And Alucard can fly! Yay! Oh, this is going to open up so much! So, so much! We can go and explore now. Like here, for example. Hmm. <clears throat> That's basically laid the castle bare to us, which I'm quite pleased about. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's nothing I missed here, is there? No, we're fine. Ooh. There we go. When all else fails, mash the buttons. I mean, combat in this game is not necessarily that sophisticated. We definitely want to save. Most definitely. And then we're going to go on a little bit of a hurly-burly around the rest of the castle, because now there's so many places we can get to that we couldn't before. Oh, it's always joyous, isn't it, when you get one of those items in this kind of game that allow you to explore the environment to its fullest. It's the, it's the kind of thing that I originally... I originally came across it in... Um, in Super Metroid, which this game is heavily inspired by. Heavily inspired by. It's like when you first find the power bombs in that game that allow you to explore. The fairy card. What does the fairy card do? Uh, it's a relic, so let's have a look. Fairy scroll, fairy card. Summons the fairy familiar. Well, we haven't got another familiar, so um, why not? Turn it on. Our first familiar. I don't know what she's going to do. But I'm going to call her Basil, I think. There's still a little area up there we haven't explored. A little bit of the map we haven't filled in. And it's uh, it's messing with my slight obsessive-compulsive qualities, so... Uh, hmm. That's interesting. How do we get there? There we go. Uh, okie dokes. So now I'm going to teleport about a bit and um, have a look at what's going on. Need to go this way, I believe, don't we? Am I getting this right or am I just trapping myself or something awful like that? 
What does my fairy familiar do? There are lots of familiars in the game. There's a bat familiar, there's a demon familiar, there's a, um... Where the hell am I going? Oh yes, down this way. There's a sword familiar that's very offensive and very good. Uh, very handy for bosses and things like that. I don't quite know what the fairy does. I think she seeks out secrets or something like that. She tells you if there's something secret around. Or something like that. Okay. Oh, there's so many places to go now. So, let's head down this way first, shall we? I like her boots. Our fairy familiar has fabulous boots. Such an odd fey thing to find in Dracula's Castle, but then again, we've met many odd fey things in Dracula's Castle already, so I don't suppose it's that unusual. Okay, let's take the lift up. Not you. The lift is not for fairies. Okie dokes. So, the one I want to teleport to is the one over there. So let's have a look. <clears throat> I don't know what symbol it is, so we're just going to have to double check. Not that one, although... Mm, I could really use that one, couldn't I? Not yet, though. Not yet. We'll go there later, because that's near the end game. Well, I, it's not near the end game. It's near the end of this particular map, is what I really should say. This is the one we want. The Baphomet one. And then we're going to have to go right back to the beginning, because there's some stuff over there, too. There's lots of stuff over there, actually. <gasps> hmm. You see? You see? Stuff that we couldn't reach before. I like the fact that as a bat, Alucard still has his sword. <laughs> That's so silly. Mana prism. Don't know what that is. Resist fire. So many items in this game that you just don't ever bloody use. <laughs> like that. I will never in a million years use that. Where does this go? Hello? Where are we? An entirely other section of the game? Why, yes, indeed. It's spikes on the ceiling, so we want to be careful of that. Those, ca those cages in the background are a little suspicious to me. Oh, do we want that? Mm, no, I'm... Mm. What's that? The s dock. Let's have a look, shall we? What does that do? Is it any good? An arm... Da, 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 da. Cutlass? Nope. Ham and eggs? No, we definitely don't want that. Shiitake? No, no, no. Mana prism. s dock. Um, German thrust sword. Two-handed. So that's... Ooh, it's good. It's it's bloody good. Let's let's try it. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> wrong button. Oh. It's uh, it's heavy and it's slow, but I imagine it's quite powerful. Um, but for the time being, I'm going to stick with the holy rod, and I'm going to put a potion on the other one. Um, potion. There we are. It's not my style, that one. Hello. Where are we? God, all of the outdoors areas are beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. Ah, oh, you see, Konami, what happened to you? Sincerely, what happened to you? There was a time when you could make... Oh! Tits! Oh, well. There was a time when you could make video games. I mean, look at this. It's beautiful. It's stunning. And I'm afraid now. A long corridor. What's this? The iron ball. Okay. Not much of a barrier. Um, 
Hmm. Don't like this. Boss? Yep. Oh shit. What boss is this? <gasps> oh, hello. Who are you? I just smashed your table. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. All rocks. Okay. Who or what are you? Some sort of uh, vampire general. He looks a little bit like Nosferatu, doesn't he? Count Orlock, in fact. Oh, he was shit. Oh, wait. <laughs> Famous last words! Oh, my! <laughs> Famous last words! I should have seen that coming, really, shouldn't I? Definitely should have seen that coming. Oh, wow. That was a fabulous beam weapon you've got there. Oh, fuck. He's very difficult. Something a bit more long range would be nice. That's why I don't really like the Bible. The range is crap. God, he's, uh, famous last words, he's actually really tough. <laughs> oh, thank you. She actually gave me a potion. That's really cool. I'd assume he's dying because he's doing that a lot. Come on, die. Yes, he's dying. What? Not enough, though. Bloody Nora. Whoa! Gotcha, that's it. He was actually... Oh. Wonderful death animation. Go on then. Are we going to fight you as a skeleton now? Oh, God. <laughs> wow. All right, then. Fabulous. Uh, thanks for the help, fairy, I suppose. Beautiful chapel here. What are we missing? What's up here, I wonder? A save room would be nice. Ooh. Ooh, it's all getting a little bit sinister now. All getting a little bit sinister. Hmm. Let's have a look. What the? Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Definitely a sense of humor in this game. Can I let you out? Oh. I'm just going to walk away. What's that? The echo of bat. I'd assume that lets me attack in bat form. Can I let you out? I, I would, if I could. I just don't know how. Whoop, whoop, wrong. Whoop. I'd assume that's what it is. I, I'm still loving the fact that Alucard has the, um... He still has his sword in bat form. I think that's great. And the bat form takes on the colour of his cloak, if you notice. That's that's kind of cool, too. Yay! Well, let's go and have a look what's going on down here now, because we missed all of this. Oh, so pretty. Oh, it's some sort of garden. Oh, oh, fuck! Okay. Fair enough. Shouldn't be riding willy-nilly like that in the garden, sir. Ooh, that's interesting. Is that turning to blood? It is turning to blood. Look. That's interesting. <laughs> what a pretty area. Hmm, but far from explored to its full yet. Hello, doorway. Another doorway. That's the way we came in, I think. Yes, uh, my obsessive compulsive disorder is leading me to explore every inch of this map. 
That's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. It's a little sort of... Um, almost like a domestic area in the castle here. Look, there are actually like homes and buildings in the background, unless they're sort of like crypts, which is entirely possible. Are we done yet? Have we coloured it in yet? Almost. Okay. That'll do. Oh, there are lots of doors and things here. Let's have a look. Ooh, it's such a big area. Hello, there's the, that prisoner again. All right, all right. If I could, I'd let you out. Hello. The sword card! That's the other familiar. I think um, the sword familiar is the more offensive one. Whereas she's defensive. Um, I think Alucard is offensive enough, to be honest. He doesn't really need help in that regard, does he? Okay. Let's see what's in here next. And then we'll go down there and have a look. Hmm. Oh, how lovely. Fabulous. Anything involving Alucard is fabulous, as we've discussed. Okay, ladies and gents, I think we've made real progress here today. So, um, when next we come back, we will go and have another explore around the castle, now that we have the form of Bat. And, um... Then we'll be heading towards the end of this particular section of the game. So, until next time, ladies and gents. Bye-bye!